All right, we're here to take a look, a detailed look at the new Skype for Business client. We don't have the client in hand. We do have screenshots, and we're just going to take a look at those to get some uh, and go over what appears to be new in the new attendant. So the layout is very similar to Link, so users should be able to adapt quickly. Uh, we have a, you can see them both there. Um, some of the things that are new is we have the new Skype colors. We have uh, new uh, home icons like the contacts history, uh, phone, uh, so there's just new, along with the new colors, new Skype-like avatars. Of course, this isn't a search, a Skype directory search, so the uh, contacts may be different. Um, and it also appears like we have a new presence color. So if we look up here, the color looks slightly different than the old green. We'll look at that in detail. So here's the new home icons, just a little bit bigger, just to point those out. And also, we have the same audio device and forwarding controls at the bottom of the screen. It looks just like Link. So once again, very familiar. So here are the new presence colors. Uh, the old green looked more vibrant. Maybe this is just marketing uh, photos that didn't show the color right. So that's a possibility. No, nothing uh, for sure there. So call control feature buttons are a little different. So this is a video call. Um, could be a mock-up, could be the real screen, but it looks like we have the Skype-like buttons right in the middle. We have uh, so Skype-themed and centered call control buttons. On the right here, we have what looks like a new button. It looks like a phone, so we might uh, guess that that could be call control featured button. We don't know that for sure, but as soon as we notice that it's new. So the new phone button on the active, we just have it zoomed in there. You know, it's a little fuzzy. Uh, that's the only photo we have at the moment. So um, in Gurdeep Singh Paul's blog article, he said uh, transferring a call now takes only one touch or a click instead of three. So there's some kind of optimization going on there. And um, uh, in a Reddit, Jamie Stark uh, posted a photo which appears to be the call flow for the new call flow for transferring calls. We'll dig into that in more detail. So somehow this window, the uh, transfer is popping up. Um, we don't know exactly how that be. That wasn't indicated specifically, but it looks like uh, so we're going to do something that pops open the, the call control window. And so number two, we have looks like hold, transfer, and devices. So change your device. So I expect we click transfer, and then we get the ability to either type or select a contact. And we so and then we also notice there we have transfer and consult transfer. So it would look almost like we are getting, um, so that's the call flow. So it looks like we get blind and consult transfer buttons. It might not be real clear in the video, but uh, it's easily readable from here. And then also a new, another new thing is the floating call monitor window like Skype. It appears to have a mute hang up display timers. Once again, these could be mock-up screens or something like that. Uh, and one of the things I noticed, it says Skype instead of Skype for business. So uh, we might be just looking at Skype and, and the reason I might guess that is because the logo is also the Skype logo, but uh, in, in some fashion, we will get a call monitor. This just zooms in a little bit. And then uh, another question people are asking is, you know, will we be forced to go to this new user interface? And uh, on a Reddit uh, thread, uh, No More Phones said, uh, uh, program manager for Microsoft noted that uh, would like to have the two user interfaces available and be able to set those by policy. So it looks like that will be something you can choose. So also the logo. Um, you know, really Skype for Business is Link with a new name. So that means all the Link server infrastructure is behind this. And it means you will have different clients for Skype consumer versus Skype for Business slash Link. So uh, you know, how will you tell the difference? It looks like they're going to have uh, slightly, you know, subtly different logos. So the Skype for Business is going to have more of an outline look. Whereas uh, Skype for, and I'm going to say for consumer, just to sh clearly uh, separate them, looks like it's going to have more of a solid filled in logo. I mean, of course, that can change. So it looks like we're, what we're seeing now. So um, the logo, you know, Link, soon to be Skype for Business, has been under the Skype um, uh, brand for some time already. In the past, of course, uh, Link. And what will now be Skype for Business had a had a had, had a identity that was very aligned with the Office identity. Whereas you know the Skype looks like it will be diverging from that. Perhaps you know we don't know. I, I shouldn't say, but 
it looks, you know, just like Skype doesn't have a, a logo that looks like the other office logos. It looks like now Skype for Business is joining that as well. So, so this, once again, is not a Microsoft presentation. It's just observations, independent observations. Everything could change. And as we get new input, we will be updating um, our blog article bit.ly forward slash Skype for B underscore first look. All right. Thanks.